Rob Johnson. Going for Mark Steed. He's been having a good run in the side. And Harford, what a lovely strike. Beautifully hit then by Harford. Well, he's one of those feared strikers in the first division. And you can see why there. Six and a half minutes gone. And that was a splendid goal, fully appreciated by the Luton fans here. Donaghy. Harford. A breaker again outside him here. And the header. Oh, it's in from Steen! Luton are two up. And that was a finely worked move. Steen with a header that Hartwick got down to but couldn't keep out. He seemed to come off an arm. So a chance for Dean Saunders. To get a goal back here for Oxford. 11 minutes to half time. He's scored six times from the penalty spot so far this season. How will he fare here against Les Seeley? He scored and it's 2 1, and Oxford are back in the game. Dean Saunders, goal number 17 for him this season. And struck very sweetly as Seeley gets the wrong way. And he turned so well. Breaker with the cross. Harford. Now will it fall for McDonough? Yes! The fans celebrate. And Luton's two-goal lead is restored. Darren McDonough, who's popped up with one or two useful goals lately. And again, a well-constructed move by Luton. Steen heavily involved there. And once again, Breaker with the cross. Harford. Climbs at the far post, he came off Briggs, and McDonough beyond the reach of Steve Hardwick, and it's 3-1. Two with Hill and Phillips. Still Saunders. Now Bardsley. Useful looking cross, and a chance, and a goal from Foyle. Well, you certainly get plenty of attacking football from these two sides. It's back to 3-2 now. Martin Foyle. On for McDonough, and then from Mark Steen. And he's clear. Oh, yes! Didn't he take it well? The scoreboard flashes goal. Mark Steen will take great delight from that one. Racing clear. And he finished it superbly. And he's having a good run in the side, Mark Steen. His confidence is coming through. And look how quickly he raced onto that ball there. And in style too, fast Hardwick. Foster going in, and on, and is it in? Steen claiming the goal, and I think it's given, yes. Mark Steen again. Two goals in, what, three minutes? Hardwick couldn't keep it out. And it's 5-2 to Luke. Two goals for Mark Steen. Oh, and he's gone on, and there was no flag. Now Hill, can he finish here? Yes! Another goal, 5-3. Richard Hill made his name as a goal scorer with Northampton. Going all the way here, Luton looking for the offside. But Oxford weave their way through well, and Hill beyond the diving figure of Seeley. Can't see too many five threes in the season. And who says it's finished yet? Steen in. And he's been let back in. And another one from Mark Steen. And that's his third. Oh, what an extraordinary game. 60 seconds after Richard Hill had brought it back to 5 3. Now it's 6 3. And Mark Steen has got his hat trick. Three goals for him. Brian's persistence paid off. Oxford again in a tangle, and Mark Steen in so sharply beyond hard. Ray Harford, their manager, has talked about the need to step up their league form and look for a place in the first six. Their best ever place as Hill goes on. Could we have another one here? Les Phillips. Oh, cleverly done. Quite extraordinary. Six. Four, and Les Phillips 
Well, has he thrown Oxford yet another lifeline? They produce here. Breaker with a cross in. Hartford! That's seven. 57 minutes into the second half. And number seven for Luke Mick Harford so bravely diving in. Beyond the defender. A perfectly flighted ball. Touched off there by Rawson the breaker. And look for Harford coming in here. And his header beyond the goalkeeper. Tommy Caton left stranded.